Great thing about having so many top drivable sites, even when the conditions aren't brilliant, you can get a lot of training in and minimal sweating. Right, see so if we can get this jammed up so it's reasonably steady. Driving here today, as usual, per the letter of agreement we set up for safety, not mandatory, but we've set up because it's a big safety improvement. Even though RAF lookers themselves, the RAF aren't based there, it's still an active field. Uh, and today we've had three, yeah, one, uh, three helicopters pass about half a mile to the site of our flying site. So we call up RAF lookers base on arriving here notify them, everybody knows where everybody is, then we switch to the club frequency and then at the end of the day we call them back and close it down. Also dealt with the call opening up the airspace for the guys in the club who are flying up at Nick Bay in Class D airspace Aberdeen today. So we've uh, pilots out up the coast, various sites, got them all sorted out. We've got the Fife sites and we've got the Aberdeen site Everybody knows the score, air traffic in the various places, all informed. Just unlock the gates and up we come. And then during the day the gates are just snipped and then lock up everything at the end. easier on the trip back up because of course you've got the pilots you've just retrieved to do the gates. Two-wheel drive, a bit of fuel economy on the way down. Now they're not actually silaging this, they've got the sheep in here, but nonetheless, you just use the track. When it's simply grass and they've got the cattle in, you can drive direct. The gearbox for braking. Smile for the camera! <laughs> Need a wee clip. So that's uh, looking back up to take off there for the south side of our main training site. from the top. Oh yes, definitely the way to do it. <laughs> 
<laughs> or chairlifts. Chairlifts. Chairlifts, yeah. Even better, the years that I used to get free passes at the chairlift and did a lot of photography uh, stuff for them and promoted. The early days of Glen Shee. I was going to say, was that Glen Shee in my lap? Yep. I don't think I've ever skied the length of flown there a few times. We're just taking off from the road. Uh huh. Right. Keep the speed on, keep the speed on, keep the speed on, and then just when you're convinced, yeah, it's down, and the legs are already down there. Yeah, my feet, my toes were about yeah, I'd say it, that far it, from the ground I when guess I first it, put the brakes on, and yeah, then it, it, but it, but it I, looked that. I felt <laughs> it as ballooned almost, a bit. I ballooned a bit. Yeah, low rated wings are bad for that. They get fed on the feeders, but yeah, associate, yeah. yeah, definitely associate vehicles with hey, where's my lunch? Or salt. I actually got a little electric fence to clip into their electric fence. I nice keep them away. Ideas yeah. for parking be at the top of the hill. These temporary, you know, white cord with the yeah. wire. Yeah, uh, that's what we use. Yeah, horses, I think, are the favourite. Yeah. Although the tape ones look to be a lot better. The wire, the wire gets um, a higher voltage through mm. it than the tape. Lower resistance. Yeah. Well, less, technically less voltage drop. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Okay, so I used to be in the electronics. And uh, round trip, eight minutes back to take off, so about ten minutes. And that's not even pushing it. And we've got nice breeze based on the grass at the moment. Now, I can't really see them on the video, but I can't even point with the camera there, but out front we've got more wind turbines. So there's another three wind turbines over there. Uh, we've got one there. Got a new one that's just yeah. up there recently, and then there's one that's out of sight. So we've got a lot more information than we used to when I started flying. But the wee wind turbine down at the farm, don't bother even looking at that one, it points all over the place. Mm -hmm. Forret Hill. 